Akiva Zerber. Observer. Akiva Zerber would say, your beauty is infinite. Your lips, your hair, the smile, impeccable. I would say, hey, got new jeans? How much you pay for it? Lip gloss, more money on salon, and that cash is irreplaceable. A keen observer would measure your worth. I'd sit back, measure my weight, and wonder what's yours. He'd take time when you and buy you things he thinks you deserve. I'd try to compete out of jealousy, not because it'd make things work. A keen observer would tell you how much he likes you. I'd sit back and when asked, I'd smile at you. He'd look down at you and squeeze you real tight. I'd always look up to you and look at my life. I'd want a future with you, even if I, even I can see that. It doesn't take a keen observer to realize that fact. My life in its entirety, I want to spend with you. But I guess I'm ill for letting you choose. A man that knows your beauty has already scaled your worth. And buys you things he thinks you deserve. Is a sad man that is afraid to lose a woman who he adores. He might adore or admire her for her attributes. But what man but I can wholeheartedly say I love you. I don't admire you, woman. Or try to figure out what you mean to me. I know what I need and I want you. And that that's all there is to me. I am no keen observer, and call me incompetent and not appreciating your qualities. But I am a man who knows what he has to have when I have it in front of me. I have passion, comfort, truth, love, and trust. A keen observer would say, look harder. You must. I see talent, grace, beauty, elegance. I see art. I tell this keen observer, back off. She's got my heart. She's not a toy, not an Adonis, not a mural, no Pocahontas. She's the love of my life, and for her I will fight. If a keen observer cannot see what love is, then he shall die. If not, then a poor observer shall not live for nothing. Instead, he will die because no other woman shall love him. If the love of his life shall not love him back, then shame on that woman for denying the embryo of lust that is hatched. Here, the keen observer would say there is no solution. But a man with no acerbations would say you are finally wrong, kind Jen, with a strong sense of sight. See, my friend, this woman you praise just might, oh, and she just might like. Find intriguing the way I treat her. Just she might like. She might like the fact that I try, and she might like I have a little sight. She just might like what I do to her at night. But best of all, she might like that I like her back. And she can always live with that. A man that appreciates her and not just the curves on her back. A keen observer would see that to love a woman is not only to appreciate her and tell her what she is, it's to comfort her, trust, and look up to her for the love that she gives. This one's called One Word. If you could choose one word to describe the world, what would it be? Keep in mind that you must include tragedy. Somewhere in that word you must fit catastrophe. You wouldn't be right if you said it was word free. Inaccurate, I would tell you, if you responded without mentioning the greatest lovers, the worst deaths, and the lonely sorrows. The smell of spring, the rainfalls, the finches and sparrows. The hair pulled back by wind, the reasons why we lie and sin. The lost treasures, celebrities, and war crises. The technology, the books, the fight this year, the next, and more to come. How could you possibly state all this at once? In one word, you must give the tales of the home that was given to you, and you must entail the task of the millions of organisms that inhabit, inhabit this earth. You must tell the true meaning of her. Take scenarios as examples, like passing of a sun and give ample space in that word to specify all the species that slither, swim, and fly. If that word is legible by the naked eye, then what language would it be? And may you find this word the most significant, if it were not a lie. And so does not a word exist, and it is why. We seek this word that may tell of why we sleep, think, and act. How we can think and travel fast. This one word is indescribable.